All right, what's going on, everybody? Blaze here, coming at you with another Naruto Shinobi Collection video. All right, this time, uh, I'm going to do a thing. I'm going to do something. Since I can't pull the new Obito because he's a fucking douchebag, and I'm going to have to wait until, um, I guess he comes back or another nun type character comes out. Hope I can pull them. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to awaken. I'm going to awaken this Obito right here. I got him LP5. And I think he could possibly be good because he already does additionals with his first skill, I think. And he gets penetrating additionals when you get him LP5. I figured even if he sucks, he'll still be able to um, benefit from having an LP5. I'm probably going to give him withstands too. That way he'll give a little bit more survivability. He won't just die and get melted immediately. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Because I can't get the new um, um, uh, Obito. So I'm going to take that Obito the Kaguya and then Izuna and then put them on the team together and then I want to try out another team where it's just two guy leads and a 40 cost um I'm going to try out another team too in 3v3 because 3v3 is going to be um rescheduled to uh, get a maintenance and then um you're going to be able to buy heroic proofs and legendary proofs from there which I think I think that was the, what the update said I gotta go check it again but that's what I'm probably going to do for right, right now until I can get my um my nun type team together because my nun type team is just lacking like I only have Kaguya I have, every, I have other units that just, I, I need Kaguya to like work with somebody. Like I, I was hoping i get the Obito, but I couldn't get him. So this is one of those things where he's going to make the best of what we got. Um, That's not what I needed right there. Where is he at? I wish I had some more dupes of this Obito. If I could LP5 him, that would actually be perfect because he's AOE too. So that would actually be perfect. And he has a chance to insta-kill. This Kaguya is another unit I wish I had LP5. That would have been dope. Um... I can LP for this Kaguya. And then I'm going to max potential this one. She's the newest one, of course, but I'm going to max potential her. I'm going to find time to do that. I'll probably do a little bit of it today because I just brought Zelda Breath of the Wild. So I guess while I'm playing that, I'm going to um, go on ahead and um, grind that out too. I may even go live today and then go live while I'm playing Breath of the Wild. Who knows? Um, so let me feed this stuff in here real quick. And start leveling him up now when he first came out his initial release i did not think he was that good but maybe with an lp5 he'll actually be impressive i just got some cheese and snap these boys is good there we go i'm just gonna wake him all the way up and actually i need to get rid of my white pearls too because i got a lot of these um white typing pearls i have like 197 of them because you can tell how often I use white typing units. So I'm going to definitely feed those in. What I feed those in, use those up. Because I definitely need some more space in my box. Hit these up right here. Boom, now you're at 100. And your white typing, you don't have any. What's the ramen guy's daughter? Yep. Can I fit some? Yep. Perfect. That'll put it at 100 right there. And that way he'll be another unit I can use for 3v3. Because 3v3 is getting re revamped. I think they're going to increase the team cost. They're going to do the same thing they do with PvP. Which is going to be interesting to see. People are already running crazy teams. Now people can run even crazier teams. Let's see. Um, and I'm going to be one of them running them crazy ass teams. I'm telling you nah. Don't, be, don't run into my team in 3v3. I might actually even start playing 3v3 more. There we go. All right, and I need a pearl to seven star them. But um, I'll get the pearls later. For right now, I'm going to open up um, his um, legendary pain. Because I'm going to do it and then see how he performs. And if he performs terribly, um, it won't be the worst thing in the world because it'll be a video. He won't be the worst LP5, you know, I don't think. So let's see. We can open that up. And I could put the new Obito's gear on them too, so that's actually good there. Since I got like over 200 of these, I'm good. I haven't even LP5 the uh, V5 Naruto yet. I don't need to um, choose one of these right now. I'll come back for these later. I'll get the main stuff now. So let me open up all his paths, get the main stuff out of the way, and then come back and see if I even really need those. You kind of don't need them. The like 200%, the 200,000, excuse me, the 200,000 you get in the stats 
of like HP or the 10 like you getting speed it's 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 very minimal considering people heal and revive as much as we do I do want to give him the speed though like I'm tempted to give him the speed to make sure he's constantly attacking but Kagi um think put your cast speed on flash and she increases your speed already so I'm gonna be curious to see how he moves with just that stuff you go right there and I'll come back for those later to see if I want to even give him those. I'm going to give him LP, uh, LP5 and then I'll, if he performs well, I'll come back with a like actual max potential system because he does have some potential system buffs that are pretty interesting. I think he has like, what does he have? I think he has for the first two turns immune and negative special state, which I don't think I need because I got Kagi's uh, formation. So I'm definitely going to go around and recheck what he does to see. There we go. LP5, baby. And I'm gonna give him um, withstands and revives because that's what he definitely needs. He has immunity to cancel already built into his stuff too. So like I said, he'll be fine. Um, now the gear is what I wanna like really just see what I can do something with. Um, cause I can put the new Obito's gear on him cause I'm not using them. So I might as well throw it on him. Let's see. Since they make so many 90 calls in the Obitos, I have it. Um, I could put all these on it, actually. That's actually good. That other Obitos gear, I think, was six pads. I think his is all. I think all of them are six pads or like what typing of them. Um, put this on here. I could put this on here. And then, let's see something. This is speed plus 75%. I might put that on him instead of the 3v3 metal when I get him awakened. Um, how many pearls can I get right now? I may have to grind it up. But let me see. How many pearls can I get right now? Because I think... Um, I probably should save it for stones, but I'm going to do it anyway. Perfect, yep, that's all I needed right there. All right, now we can awaken him to seven star. And I'm gonna take him into like one event real quick. I just wanna see how hard he'll hit. Wait, wrong button. All right, let's see. Where is he at, where is he at, where is he at? Right here. Snowy Blaze is gonna be happy with this. There we go. And then I'll feed you I'll feed you all these. Yep, now he's good to go. He's LP5. He got some gear on him. Let me put this last bit of gear on him right here. All right, y'all, we back. I had to make a small cut. You probably didn't even notice I left. All right, now what did I say I want to do? I want to take this Obito in an event and then I just test him out real quick. I can take this Obito off. I'm just gonna put the Kizunas right there because they're a Kizuna. And then put the other guy on him. Yes. I could get him faster, but what do I feel like sacrificing in order to do that? That is the question. That is the million dollar question. What do I want to sacrifice in order to do that? I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's just run this team right here. I'm just curious to see what kind of damage he'll do. Um, He's white typing, so we need to take him into the black typing event. I just want to see <laughs> how much, how hard would he hit. I just want to see those numbers real quick. Um, see something. God, can y'all put auto repeat in the game, please? Jesus Christ. There you go, run this team right here. I could probably get him in hit harder with a double cocky elite because she increases nut type skill damage. Ooh, I can get him in nice and hard. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see something. Oh, Kagi has changed the formation. 
Oh, I never seen an ice one. I wonder how many other formations does she have? Cause I know I've seen a lava one, but does she have um, another one too? Like a gravity one? He already starts it in the. Uh, he already starts his state. Ugh, I can't talk. He already gets his ancestor state. If there's a leaf village unit, which there are right here, so let's just go straight into his attack. Oh no! Let me turn fast forward off. He has AOE. Okay, that's not too bad. I think I can get him to hit a little bit harder. I can get him to hit a little bit harder, I think. And with that right there, Kage's formation in that. Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to max potential both of them. I'm going to have to just make the best of what I got since I don't have um, the newest Obito. This might be the team right here. I may swap out the Kizuna and Sasuke and Naruto though with the Kizuna, Naruto and Minato because they're the best Kizuna. So I'm gonna definitely put them right there. They won't be none type and get the none type benefits, but that's just gonna have to work with what I got for right now. And then, um, let's see. Cause I, I want them to have some kind of protection too. They probably don't even need it cause they're probably hitting so fucking hard. They're probably melting whatever you have. So I'm, I'm gonna definitely work on that. And see what I can do from that one right there. But alright, that's gonna be it for this video right here, guys. We got the Lednar, not the Naruto, the Obito um legendary awakened. So that's probably gonna be to be the nun type team. I've got some other 40 cost nun type teams I wanna try out. But um Yeah, like I was thinking of getting rid of just having like if I wanted to have just Izuna and Obito, or just Nar uh, Kage and Izuna, I mean, two 40 cost options I have are Where's he at, Izuna? It's a 40 cost Izuna for this one right here. And then another 40 cost. See, I might throw you right there too because you're still pretty good. So this might be a nun type team. I want to have two 90s and two 40s. They're going to have to increase team cost. They're going to have to. Um, so this is probably the one with a 40 tossed option. But if I don't want to do that, I want can just do it like this. Then put this Obito right there for a nun type team. And then throw... Kizuna right there. I wish they would come out with a nun type Kizuna already so I could just get this show on the road, but hey, it is what it is. But that's going to be it for this video right here, guys. You guys like this video, you want to see more, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that bullshit. This being Boy Blazer. Peace out.